BuzzFeed and shit always is super guilty of the dumbest clickbait shit ever. We can tell what your soulmate's gonna look like based on which of these pretzels you think look the most delicious. Oh, my soulmate's a 275 pound gorilla. That's pretty sick, uh, BuzzFeed. Good job on that one. I definitely, uh, I would definitely have to agree with you on that one. What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about something that I absolutely hate about YouTube right now. And you know what, it, you're probably going to already know what I'm talking about based on the title of this video, but I honestly hate clickbait. This website has been overrun with clickbait, uh, it's everywhere, literally everybody is posting clickbait titles and thumbnails and, and videos and all this stuff, and I'm even guilty of it occasionally as well, but I absolutely hate it and the worst part is I have no idea how to combat it. Basically, let me just explain clickbaiting to you real quick just for a second clickbait if you don't know uh, what the actual term is you know maybe you've heard it around and you're not sure what it means uh, it's basically someone posting you know it could be a blog or or a picture or anything but on YouTube specifically what it is is somebody posts a video with a specific uh, title and or thumbnail uh, that is you know usually in all caps saying OMG uh, I'm getting married question mark question mark and then you click the video because the thumbnail is your favorite youtuber getting ready to get married or something and then you find out that they're actually just in somebody else's wedding uh, even though it looked like from the thumbnail that they were getting married and they're like lol I'm not getting married that is that is clickbait right there because you you know it's, it's they're baiting you for the clicks you know you think oh are they actually getting married so you click on it no they're not getting married but they all they wanted was for you to click on the video and to watch it you know uh, so they use their thumb their thumbnail and the title of their video to get you to click on it I mean what are you more likely to click on someone who has a picture of them who looks like they're getting married where the title says OMG I'm getting married question mark question mark question mark or a title that says I attend my friend Philip's wedding and then just like some random just some random thumbnail that YouTube auto generates you know so obviously people pick these things specifically so that way it looks more enticing and you're more likely to click on them even I do the same thing I mean you can even look at the video with the shiny Pokemon uh, thumbnail that I have on my channel and I talk about shiny Pokemon uh, there's actually no shiny Pokemon in Pokemon go as of right now I think I'm not entirely sure uh, but you know you could think by the title oh did he actually find a shiny Rata or, or something like that and like you know you click on it just to find out and it's obviously I hadn't and I didn't uh, but I do talk about shinies in the video so even I am guilty I'm pretty sure everybody is guilty of clickbaiting and honestly I don't know what to do about it the problem that people have with clickbaiting right is that it's very misleading you know you click on a video thinking oh so-and-so is getting married or who's having a baby or what did they say about this person blah 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 and you go and click on the video and find out that none of that shit even matters uh, it has nothing to do with the video uh, and even drama channels are very um, you know prone to using clickbait with just different people you know they'll say like the title will say something like youtuber homeless and then in the video you'll see like a picture of jesse wellens because like they talk about jesse in the video but the title and the thumbnail don't really match up but you kind of think they might in your head so you click on it just to find out you know shit like that is clickbait and and people don't like to be misled on youtube you know if you click on something expecting to see one thing and you see something else then you feel like you've been misled and that you've been you know misguided and wasted your time basically the problem is if you have a new YouTube channel or a small YouTube channel maybe something like my size or smaller you really can't compete with bigger youtubers without clickbaiting and the, the problem with that is the big youtubers are the ones who are clickbaiting so you have to basically clickbait your videos uh, at least a little bit just to get somebody to watch them or just to click on them or something uh, and you know it's it's scummy and sometimes it's misleading and you feel bad doing it or whatever uh, but then when you upload videos where you don't clickbait or something you get far less views uh, and far less ratings and less comments and less everything uh, and thus you realize okay well you know if I'm going to spend the time to make a video uh, and I want people to watch it I want the video to be successful you know obviously if I'm gonna put my time and effort into making a video I want it to be as successful as possible so you figure okay well obviously I have to clickbait it like why would I not click it? you know what I'm saying it's the same video but based on the thumbnail and title you can decide oh if I do this thumbnail and this title it's more likely to get views and comments and everything like that um, and if I use the like legitimate thumbnail and title it won't get as many so I'd rather do it one way and get more people to view it. and if you're watching and you don't make YouTube videos you're probably thinking OMG why are you doing it for the views why do you care so much about the views blah 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 and you know all that makes sense from a consumer standpoint but from someone like in, in my position where
where I'm actually putting hours and hours and hours and hours into editing videos and recording them and coming up with ideas and getting different gameplays and, and all like the editing and like the you know the, the stuff that I post on my Instagram and things like that to promote my channel and my Twitter and all this stuff I put so much time into making videos and editing them and then also talking to people on Twitter like responding to fans and all this stuff I spend a lot of time on my YouTube channel so when it comes down to growing my channel I'm, I'm gonna do pretty much anything that I can to get it to grow because of how much time that I'm putting into it uh, I want people to actually notice what I'm doing and, and enjoy what I'm doing and hopefully I can entertain them uh, and hopefully they'll like my content so you know obviously from a from a consumer standpoint you know from your guys's standpoint you know you can easily just be like oh who cares about the views why do you care about the views all this stuff um, but you know for someone you have to put yourself in a creator shoes where they're spending all of their you know free time and and energy and all this stuff into making videos you know they want more people to watch it. I think that's completely reasonable. I don't think that's, uh, you know, something like scummy or malicious or, or something like that. You know, I think it's reasonable to, you know, if you're putting hours about and hours into making videos, uh, it's reasonable to want as many people to see them as possible. I think that makes sense and I think that's completely fair, especially for someone like me who's actually not even really getting paid for any of this. You know, I literally make like fucking two cents on every video that I make, which is absolutely nothing. At the end of the day, I don't make anything on YouTube, nothing substantial, and I put I've put way more money into my YouTube channel than I've gotten out of it um, just based on like how much I've spent on my computer and my cameras and like my microphone and, and all this stuff so I don't think it's unreasonable to just ask you know to do whatever I can to get as many views as possible I think that's realistic you know what I'm saying and the point of this video is that I hate that and I hate that it's misleading and I hate that it's like sometimes a little bit scummy and you sometimes feel a little bit bad about you know some thumbnail or some title that you might use just to entice users to click on your videos but like I said before there's really no way around it. like you can't you can't grow a YouTube channel without views and in 2016 it seems very very difficult to make a video that gets a lot of views without using some sort of clickbait in the title or the thumbnail have you guys noticed this yourselves what do you guys think what should we do what should youtubers as a whole do what do you think the community needs to do uh, in order to combat this clickbait because I'm sure uh, everybody would like if videos weren't misleading you know if you could go on YouTube and everything you clicked on is what you expected I'm sure people would much rather prefer that than what we currently have where every video is clickbait and every video is a little bit misleading at, at least a little bit and the other thing that I hate about YouTube and the community right now is if you talk about these things people label you a hypocrite they say oh my god you know he's calling out leafy and he's calling out uh, scarce and he's calling out all these people who have clickbait titles and clickbait thumbnails and look at his channel he has clickbait titles and he has clickbait thumbnails now and that's the problem I always see youtubers saying oh my god you know so and so you know has all these clickbait so, like titles and videos and thumbnails and things like that and then you look at their channel and they do the exact same thing so if you talk about this topic on YouTube people immediately hate what you're saying because OMG you're a hypocrite uh, and I think that's super stupid I admit to using clickbait titles and clickbait thumbnails and things like that occasionally um, and, and you know I think it's an issue that we need to, need to talk about and I've explained in this video why I feel that it's really important and something that you pretty much have to do if you want to grow a small YouTube channel in 2016 but that doesn't mean it's not a problem and I know that you know it might sound hypocritical like yeah I hate clickbait yeah I use it myself but I do hate it and I think you could have both I don't think you can only be one or the other you know I hate that I have to use them but you know statistically just looking at my analytics and from past experience uh, I feel that I need to sometimes use clickbait titles or thumbnails just to get people to you know look at my content or click on it or watch it or whatever so that's why I hate it I hate when people say oh you know you can't so you can't talk about clickbait because you clickbait yourself well yes everybody pretty much clickbaits at this point on this channel uh, not on this channel but you know on this website in general uh, and I just want your guys opinion in the comment section what do you think about clickbait on YouTube do you do you care even I, I don't know maybe some people just don't even care maybe they just expect it at this point you know they're just they're used to it and they don't care that's just they've accepted that that's what YouTube is now or are you like me where you absolutely really don't like it and you wish that YouTube wasn't like that and if you have any ideas on how we can combat this let me know in the comment section below tell me you know what can we do to fight clickbaiting do, should you know should we collectively agree to stop doing it because 
because if we all do that then there's going to be one youtuber who's up and coming who's just like fuck all you guys and they just clickbait everything and their channel explodes uh because of it so you know i don't know how to combat clickbaiting i think the only thing that maybe can combat it is if people get really numb to the fact that it's clickbait and nobody clicks on videos because of the clickbait and i think that might actually be the direction that we're heading but i'm not sure let me know in the comment section below what you guys think uh, about clickbaiting on youtube and on the internet in general you know like buzzfeed and shit always is super guilty of the dumbest clickbait shit ever we can tell what your soulmate's gonna look like based on which of these pretzels you think look the most delicious oh my soulmate's a 275 pound gorilla that's pretty sick uh, buzzfeed good job on that one i definitely uh, i would definitely have to agree with you on that one great great you know clickbait title you definitely didn't uh you did, definitely didn't pick out what my soulmate would look like yeah good job on that one buddy is 275 pounds like small for a gorilla i'm pretty sure that's like a small gorilla but you know what i'm not entirely sure who knows anyway you guys get the joke you, you get the point of the whole thing right fuck buzzfeed anyway uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like i said drop a comment down below letting me what you think about clickbait on youtube and on the internet in general make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed anything that i talked about in this video at all i really would appreciate it uh you know likes are something that keep me going here on youtube so if you guys actually enjoy my content drop a like i really do need it and i do appreciate it a ton subscribe to my channel if you're new around here so you can see more videos with this gorgeous face just kidding i haven't showered yet today but you know it'll look better later on and that's a bit of guys so thanks for watching this has been on new york and i will talk to you later peace